Hi, and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence, and today we're gonna take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Iron Grenadiers Metalhead. Now, it says Cobra Metalhead, but it has the Iron Grenadiers logo with the Cobra symbol behind it. It's almost like they're confused and they don't really know what they wanna do, maybe because there's not media behind it, and I'm not positive. But as far as I'm concerned, in my head canon and in my lore, he's part of the Iron Grenadiers, which means he answers to Destro and they work for the highest bidder. So anyway, I have no connection to this figure whatsoever. I didn't really watch the Deke cartoon. I did not have uh, the O-ring figure, but we're gonna take a look at this. I think it actually looks pretty good. They've done really well with almost everything that the team has done. So quickly, this is a deluxe. You can see everything that he comes with. He's got a different, uh, not through his goggles, but he's obviously able to aim through there. Different helmets, different head sculpt, the rockets, the blast effects, uh, reuse of weapons, and so much more. And we're going to take a look at all this. Number 118, all right? And right there we have the QR code that leads to where? Hell, guys, it leads to hell. So there's your file card. And on the back, we saw this. This really got broken down. That is Naga Hyde right there on the bullet train. And the art looks really cool. I mean, the photography here looks really nice. But again, no connection to them. They did talk a lot about it. Uh, I've seen a few things on this already. So we're going to take a look at it and see how it is. So anyway, let's just get into this. Before we do, listen, if you like this type of content, you like G.I. Joe stuff, I give you lots of G.I. Joe stuff, take a second, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. And I probably should say every time I go live, which is every Monday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Monday Night Toy Ramblings, where you hear about all kinds of stuff. So let's take a look at this. Okay, so I got the figure out, and first I want to go over the stuff that is the reuse, like the two weapons. Now, we have seen this M4 style weapon numerous times. I don't think it looks bad. It is kind of small, but a lot of times once you get it on them, it looks pretty good. It has a small amount of red paint onto it. It's got the grenade launcher, ports for blast effects, a removal magazine, and then we have the movie laser, I'm sorry, the TV laser. And sometimes I wonder, like the classified team, they're trying to appease a lot of people where it's like, uh, do we do some movie stuff or TV stuff? Do we do some movie stuff? Do we do the comic book stuff? Now I do like this, especially if you really like the cartoon. So you have the red paint on it, a nice scope on it, Removable magazine as as I was just showing trigger guard and everything but It is extremely soft and flexible now There are a lot of people that are complaining about this myself included But understand this is not a GI Joe thing. This is a Marvel. Or I mean a Hasbro thing. This is from This Deadpool And I've shown this before and this is from last year all right, this thing is basically rubber. It looks nice. All right, there's no removable magazine or anything. It does look really nice, but it is just super flexible. You can tell it is, it is the same type of rubbery uh, material as these are. So do not yell at the G.I. Joe team. They want, to make, they want to make changes. They are trying to make changes, but this is Hasbro trying to go four and up, and that's fine, but... It's almost overkill. It's not all. It is complete overkill. So understand it is the Hasbro issue. We can move these to the side. So, all right. So now let's look at all this, all the new tooling that we're getting. And first we'll take a look at the backpack. Now, I've heard people have some compl complaints about the backpack. So first, the detail is pretty nice. No paint apps on it other than around the vents here. The arms do stay up to where they need to be. So you can kind of move it to where you want it to be without a problem. All right. It does have the peg for the back, but then they also made two extra posts that are right there on his back so it can stay on there. And you can see that it is grooved perfectly for, I don't know if these are uh, cybernetics or what, 
but it's going to plug right in there. Now, it's going to fire this way. This is the back. This is worth ejecting. And the first thing that we have is a new blast effect. It is translucent, which is nice, but it does have the nice white creating a smoke stream. And it does plug in there fairly easily. And you can use that missile on it. All right, so there's the tooling on the new missile that is two of these missiles, all right? The other two are smaller missiles. And let's see if these fit on here. So these do not fit on, so it has two different size ports. All right, I'm gonna take this off here. We get another size blast effect. And that's gonna go on his leg cannon, all right? so. That is the ventilation side over here. Here's where it's firing. And you can plug that right on there. And we're gonna have one of the small rockets. Now the rockets don't have any any paint to it. Uh, a nice little red stripe there I think would have been nice. But as we've all as we've mentioned, every time the paint hits anything like this, it costs money. So with everything else they're kind of giving you. You gotta understand why. So here's the small blast effect. So you're gonna get two of these, two of these, and then two of the larger ones. And that should plug in there just fine. You get four of the smaller rockets, and there you go. So they're plugging in. You can have them, two long ones firing off, two short ones. It's mix and match. It is your head cannon. it is your lore. Oh, that's difficult to get out. So now let's say you don't want this on here. How do the missiles fit in? Well, it looks like they just kind of dangle there. Yeah, that one stays on there, so... I mean, I guess it kind of stays on. <laughs> yeah. So they're just kind of going to sit there. Kind of look stupid. <laughs> Maybe use some sticky tack. You could push it back so it's going to stay in place. As for the backpack here, these actually don't fit in there. So that's unfortunate, like you cannot store it and this doesn't come off. They should have made it. It would have been nice had they made it so this could pop off. You could pop the missile in there and then close it. Kind of like what they did for bazookas. These do come off, but then they just plug right back in. Don't have to worry about that. We got the hoses. I've heard a lot of complaints that the hoses do not stay in position. We are going to test them. The hoses are going to go from here to the back right there. All right. Let me get this out of the way. All right. Here's our figure. Oh, knife. Okay. That we just dropped. So there's a knife, a little bit of paint on the uh, on the blade, which is good. But again, that's just going to get stored on him, and I'm never going to use it. <laughs> All right. So he comes with one hair piece, a hair piece with his goggles that have his aiming, uh, his targeting uh, effect. And I don't have a problem with this. Uh, I would have rather them do this rather than try and give you goggles that do not fit or glasses that don't fit. We've all seen how that is. It is annoying, it is awful. And then he has this medieval helmet. Now I think this is what he came with on the O-ring. I don't know for sure, so feel free to tell me in the comments. He's got some nice yellow eyes. He's got like this saw blade mohawk. You know, you got these, uh, points on it again if this was a NECA this would literally rip your hand apart <laughs> this stuff is so hard but it's kind of like a samurai looking in some ways or just a medieval it's hard to actually say but looks pretty cool so now let's take a look at our figure and we'll start off with the hair and you can see exactly it is notched way better than some of the females uh, that they did this originally with some of the hair doesn't really want to stay on all that well. This looks like it's made to stay on 
much better. So quickly, we'll take a look at him here. And he's got that teardrop right there. Nice goatee, some gritting teeth. From the looks of it, it looks like my eyebrow may have missed a little bit of the paint app. So I might have to touch that up just a bit there. His eyes look pretty good. He seems to be looking straight ahead. No, uh, no paint off of there. So a little bit of QC issue with the eyebrow there. Not the worst thing in the world. He has his plate carrier. Spot for his knife. On it, he has Cold Slither. Now, if you know who Cold Slither is, it is the Dreadnox band. So, clearly that is an homage to them. I would guess that somewhere down the road, they will probably do an exclusive for the Dreadnox Cold Slither band. That would be my best guess. But he's got some pouches up here. Just gray, red. And lighter gray, I guess a little bit of the cold slither there. I just got some some wearing some wear and tear on that. So that's nice. Some sort of pouch up here. There he has the Destro Iron Grenadier. Once again, he is not Cobra. It would have been nice had they done that. Uh, I wish they would have done with the dreadnoughts and everything, but oh well. There's his back. Now, it looks like he has some sort of enhancements. Now, I don't know if he's supposed to be like Dr. Octavius. This is a nice touch to it because this type of thing would completely destroy your spine within a couple weeks, if that. Got the little uh, turquoise right there. I'm not sure if that's a, a bar to give you like the battery level. I think that would have been actually pretty cool if they would have had like two different battery levels. Maybe one was wearing out, if that's what they're doing. But this all notches right in there. Okay? So, I don't think we're going to have to worry about this falling off. Might have to worry about him falling over. Uh, one pocket on the back. I don't remember seeing one pocket on any of the figures. Instead of sculpting new legs, which or new thighs, which would have been stupid, they just sculpted some thigh holsters. And that is what's going to hold the rockets on, so... Let's pop these on here. And they seem to move fairly nice. And then you make your way down, and we got nice, uh, yeah, the shoelaces. I like the red, it just accents it. So we'll quickly take a look at his articulation. So his head does move back and forth, up and down. Sorry about the sun, guys. Um, usually when I'm doing reviews, it's later on. No issues there. T-pose, really nice. Got his bicep swivel, double pinless joints in the elbows. Does have butterfly joints, but as I've mentioned numerous times, they are useless. They are not cut enough. They're just there to be there. He does have an ab crunch. This is a nice, because of the distance here, he's actually able to move up and down. And his head does look down pretty good. Then he can turn side to side. Jean-Claude Van Damme isn't going to be the greatest because it is impeded by the thigh holster. But hey, you got to take the good with the bad with there. I don't think that's that big of a deal. I don't think many people are doing Jean-Claude Van Damme. Thigh swivel. Double pinless knees. You got your boot cut. Ankle rockers. He feels nice and smooth. Nothing is gummy other than the weapons and yes that is a problem i'm not trying to say it's not so let's throw this stuff on him oh i forgot to go over so there's the head with the wig and here is the wig with the targeting system now i don't really like this one to be honest i love the idea of it but I just don't really care for the look. I think the regular one looks better. And then let's take a look at his medieval look. Which I would say the yellow there is also showing that he has a targeting system inside of that. Now this one I think is pretty sharp. This, I like this one. This, in my opinion, is really sharp. 
But you look at that, the goatee shows. I mean, this is, uh, yeah. I This might be the one that I'm, I'll be rolling with not the one not what I had actually thought but hey sometimes you get something in hand you know my my feelings on the Mezco Destro I wasn't going to use that grinning face and yet that is my favorite face after I got it <laughs> all right so I'm thinking this guy is going to be a little difficult to stand I think this is going to be a little top heavy here so if I see him with a stand in collections I I may give people a free pass. All right, so there we go with this. Let's try and pop on some stuff here before we get to trying to put the hoses on. I think it's actually kind of crazy to be shooting them all off at once. But let's be honest, that, that is difficult to get in there. Not the hardest thing, just uh, know it does fit in. So as you can see, even with the weight of everything, it does stand where it needs to be. And he's actually standing straight up pretty well there. And then we're gonna throw on these. Now you can angle these in different different areas. So you can imagine his targeting is gonna be all over the place. So maybe the helmet would probably be the best. I'm not really sure how, how else he would be uh, handling it. But I think there's some sort of... And I know nothing about this figure. So I'm not going to sit there and act like I do. I know a lot about G.I. Joe. Uh, it was my number one as a kid. And still my number one today. But I would have to read more. And I'll probably have to go check out JLS Comics. I should have done that before I started this. So there we have everything. And <laughs> he wants to fall backwards. So, I'm going to have to do some major posing with this guy. Alright, so. Let's look at these. And this has been everyone's complaint. So, my first thing is going to be, if we're having problems with this, plug this in after. Alright? After you get them in the pose you want. Because... If you're getting frustrated trying to pose it, and every time you move it, these things come out, it's sometimes easier just to wait. And maybe you even have to heat this up with some water, blow dryer, just so you can angle them. So we got them right there in a pretty good position. It wasn't that difficult. What about arming them up? We'll put this gun on them. I really do like this gun. I'm not going to lie. Uh, I, I do like this gun. Other than, again, it seems a little small. But, it's not a lot of fun to pose this guy. <laughs> it's not a lot of fun to pose him. Let me just say, I'm trying to pose him, and every time I'm, I'm moving it, I'm knocking something out of the way. So, like, he just wants to rock back. But, I got to stand. So maybe I haven't lied. Maybe you don't need a stand for them. Some of you guys just want stands no matter what. You don't even want to try. You don't want to put the finger in the, in the trigger guard. Um, <laughs> so there is the complaint. That is the biggest complaint. That was my complaint <laughs> when I posed this guy. You got you to gotta put him at a specific angle so people don't realize how rubbery the weapon is. Because unfortunately... I really like this. I think it looks really nice. It's just so rubbery that uh, they're like Superman. They're just bending it. So there you go. That is your metal head. And I'm pretty impressed with him for the most part for having no connection to it. I think they did a pretty good job. All right. So there you go. That is my first impression of metal head. Actually, the only one that I've ever messed around with o-ring or any other version they may have had he seems like a fun figure he seems like the counter to scrap iron scrap iron is just way better he's such a better developed character but having all these small little rockets you can definitely do a lot of stuff you want to have him facing the vamp uh, maybe a ram cycle 
you're gonna get a lot out of this figure. And again, I always think of Scrap Iron to go with Destro. So the Iron Grenadiers and Destro, his little troops are starting to round out. And I'm thinking that, hey, the next HasLab is going to be something for the Iron Grenadiers. That's my hope to be 100% honest. But there you go, man. Uh, he's a deluxe figure, $35. So it's up to you if you want to spend the money on it. But I like it. All right, so that's my final review of Metalhead. Again, he's Iron Grenadier. It's not really Cobra, but I guess Iron Grenadier is closer to Cobra than G.I. Joe. Whatever. So it's up to you. We're kind of getting to the point where well, well, he was number 118, right? We're at the point where there may be figures you want to skip out on. I mean, there's always been figures you might want to skip out on. But if you start skipping out on certain figures... I understand. And this is where maybe a line starts to taper off because they're throwing so much stuff at you because they now have the budget to do it. But you also may be getting characters that you don't really care about. The one thing that I can say, in my opinion, of the classified line, the classified designers, that almost everything that they've done, whether it be a character that I didn't like or didn't have an attachment to, I feel like they've done a really good job of making it look good doesn't mean you have to like it but I feel like most of the figures uh other than Falcon really is a, they're good figures how even even those movie figures were actually pretty good figures even though the movie was absolutely awful it's up to you I fully understand I'm just here to show you what I got and let you make a good decision for your own financial uh, uh sanity all right, but I'm going to get out of here. You waited this long. Uh, you stayed this long. Not waited. You stayed this long. I do appreciate it. Instagram, a punk with toys. There's two of them. Follow them both. There's going to be somewhat different content on both. Facebook group page, punks with toys, because once you join, you're a punk with toys. And last but not least, don't go anywhere. You stayed this long. Take a second. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. And hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a G.I. Joe video and we know there's so much more to come now i'm going to get out of here but please don't go anywhere up here is the techno viper review and down here is gi joe classified playlist take care